Hi guys! So today I'll be showing you guys a subtle and a more dramatic look for Valentine's Day. Um, basically, I'm going to do a subtle look and then from there I will build up to a more dramatic look and stay tuned to see how it goes. Okay, so just so you guys know, I've already completed my whole entire foundation uh, routine and if you guys want to see how I've done I do have a foundation routine up already, so if you guys want to see how I do my foundation, you can go ahead and refer to that video. For now, the next step that I like to do after I've done my foundation routine and contouring, which I've already done some just on the cheekbone area and on my nose and along my jawbone just to give a more slimmer face, the next thing that I like to do is fill in my eyebrows. So I'm using this Brow Trio from Truco, which looks like that. So I'm going to go ahead and use the first two colors for the inner part of my eyebrow, and then the last two colors for the outer part of my eyebrow, starting from the arc and down. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. So go ahead and I'm going to apply this to the entire lid and under the eyebrow bone. So for my base, I'm going to be using my um, Loose Powder by MAC in the color Naked. And I'm just going to use a flat brush like so. So I'm just going to apply this naked, um, starting from my eyebrow bone area all the way down. The next color that I'll be applying is from this L'Oreal um, Quad... Um, eyeshadow palette um, subtle berries so it looks like this and I don't know how long ago I got this I kind of it kind of got passed down to me but it looks like this and I'll be using this color and with the same flat brush I'll be applying this to just the um, lid area okay so now that I've applied that pink color I'm gonna also add another pink color just to give it more of a pinkiness because this one's a little bit on the neuter side or well, not nude but whitish side so it doesn't um, stand up really pink so I'm going to be using this color right here from this BH Cosmetics palette. It's the Jenny Rivera Limited Edition palette. And I'll be using the same brush, taking that pink color, and again, applying it um, more towards the inner part of my eye, because that's where I want it the brightest. So I like to do all my light colors first, so the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the same brush that I used earlier for the pink color, and I'm going to start highlighting my eyebrow area, eyebrow bone area. And I'll be using this kind of champagne pink color. It kind of looks a little bit dark but and too pinky, but it actually, I tested it and it actually goes on pretty light, but it still has that shimmer to give it that nice highlight. Give it a couple swipes because I don't want to be too pigmented. Work it a little towards the inner part of the eyebrow. So the brush that I'll be using for my darker shades is this fluffy brush that I, it's like a fluffy blending brush that I got from uh, BH Cosmetics. The colors that I'm going to be using for my darker shades is also going to be a mixture from this uh, Subtle Berries palette and then also I'm going to be using this Remo London Trio palette and I'll be using a little bit of this um, grayish purple. So I'm first going to go ahead and start off with this medium color right here. It's like a grayish purple. I'll just keep tapping that in there and put this in the um, corner and work my way across the crease and I'm just going to keep blending this. Again, just putting most of the pressure towards the outer crease, working your way in while lifting so you're not getting as much pigment towards the inner part of the eye. And this is just us building the color. just in the crease area, mostly in the crease, you know, swipe it back and forth a little bit in the crease area to give it a little bit more depth, and then start working it in, but only go about like three-fourths of the way instead of all the way. Okay, we're going to be applying this purpley gray color right here, which has a little bit of shimmer, into the crease as well, just to give it a little bit more of a shimmery, pretty girly look. Use a little bit because a little goes a long way with shadows usually. Apply this in the crease again. So it just changes it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and go back and take this lighter gray purple and apply this right above or in between like right here um, between the brow color and the last colors that I put on. So I'm going to 
just to blend them together. Yeah, that's my subtle eyeshadow look. If you want, you can always make it a little more dramatic, but not like crazy dramatic. Down here, I have leftover eyeliner, sorry. But um, if you don't want to make the upper part of your eyeshadow, your lids dramatic, you can go ahead and add a little bit of darkness to underneath the eye, or if you want more of a brighter look, you can always put um, a lighter color or maybe a lighter shade here, which I will show you guys how to do in a second. One of the colors I'm going to be using is this one, it's called Sin, and it, is, it kind of looks like champagne here, but it is like a champagne pink color, and this is from the Urban Decay palette, and let's see, I'm just going to use like this kind of like small little brush, it's not a smudge brush, it's still like a actual brush brush, you know, but um... white color it has shimmer in it. I'm gonna take a dab of the champagne pink one, a little bit of this frost, and then I'm gonna go ahead in the inner part of my eye and apply it right underneath my beard up here and in the corner and right above this one, just a little bit. But I don't want to do too much. As for the outer part, I'm gonna darken it a little bit just so it can be a little dramatic but not too crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this color, which is last call and it's this pretty like winish um, pinky wine color and take a little dab of that a little dab of that sin that we used earlier just going back and forth on that one and I'm also going to use a little bit of oil slick which is a sparkly black color just a tad just go back and forth with the three colors and then I'll be putting this on the outer part not in the crease or anything just right on the outer part of area just slightly it'll be like a, a grayish purpley pink and work our way inwards if you want to make it darker go ahead and apply a little more of the darker color but it looks crazy all right so i've already applied my highlight color right here in my tear duct area and then my darker shades here just to make it a little more dramatic but not too crazy dramatic because it is a nice day look and then Next, we're going to go ahead and apply our eyeliner, and I am using my almost completely done Bare Minerals Eyeliner Pencil in the color Midnight, and it's just a black pencil like that. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this in the inner tear duct. I don't really prefer using the white, even though it does help brighten up your eyes and make it look bigger, but <clears throat> I'm the kind of girl that just likes a black eyeliner, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this in the inner. Two options. 
Um, you can either do like a red lip, but I don't recommend this red for this color because it's more like a pink purple. So what I'm going to show you guys is a more like nude purpley pink color. So the lip liner that I'm going to be using is by Truco, and it looks like this color right here. It's like a mauve pink color, and it is in the color rosewood, and it looks like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips. Quickly, it doesn't need to be like perfect or anything. Um, go to the inner because we're going to fill it in. So I'm just going to continue lining the lip and filling it in. And what I noticed is that if you don't fill it in all the way, because sometimes it's hard, like for some reason it just doesn't stick right here, like it just washes off really easy, it's okay because um, having it a little bit lighter kind of pumps up the lip. liner that I use and then the next one that I'll be using it's called Fiji by Glow Therapeutics and it looks like well that's what the name says in the silver case and the color is very pretty it's a nice really pretty pink color so I'm just gonna mix this on top of this color and this will help blend the liner color this um, hot shot one to the side because I really like the way it turned out. And so now I have a lot of lip gloss on my lips, but this is the color that I really like using. Obviously it looks really pink right now because I just applied like three different colors on there. <clears throat> or four actually. But you can dab it to make it less pink. And so this is my more subtle yet um, really pretty and sexy kind of look for Valentine's Day. If you're going to be, you know, bright with the lips, maybe do a little subtle eye. If you're going to be bright with the eyes, maybe do more subtle lip. So that's kind of what I did here. And it kind of worked out. So, yeah. So now on to the more dramatic look. Basically, it only, you know, takes a couple steps. Keep the lips if you want to. I'm going to actually take the lips off so I can show you guys a more red look and then a more deeper red look. But we'll keep this on for now. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply this matte Batali color from the Balm. And it is a um, really dark gray purple. It almost looks black, but it's actually a really dark, dark purple. So I'm just going to dab this a little bit again with this fluffy brush. Just very lightly because a little goes a long way. And this is a non-shimmer, so it's matte. And I'm going to apply this in the crease. Focusing on this crease area literally right here in the corner. And just go about halfway up, sweeping lightly towards the inner part of the eye.
is my perfume stuff right there, and that is in my hair collection of the most used hair and perfume stuff that I have, and lotions too. So that's where I keep all my stuff, but I can show you guys what's in them if you guys are interested. Oh, and that's more of my jewelry stuff right there behind there, which is going to be going in my jewelry um, armor thing that I got that hangs on the wall that I got for Christmas, which I forgot to show in my what I got for Christmas video. But if you guys are interested, I will do a video on that. Also, I am going to be doing a makeup collection video, which isn't like the greatest amount of makeup, but it is what I have. So. Okay, so now that I've completed uh, my darkness for my eyes, that's pretty much all I did for the upper part. And then I'm going to go ahead and back with that little small brush like this, get that dark oil slick color again, with a little bit of that last call that we had earlier, those two colors right there. black real quick and then we're gonna take that really pretty um polyester bright color right here which is like a frosty white color and apply that just a tad bit because we don't want it to be too white again and we're gonna apply that right in the inner corner again Blending it towards the black color dabbing it again and applying blending it towards the black color i'm gonna apply the liquid eyeliner and be a bombshell and onyx again but I'm going to apply it a little darker, a little thicker. Okay, so I'm back with my regular lips that are kind of pinky now because I wiped them off. But So the first thing I'm going to do is apply my MAC liner all over the lip, lining it on the outer part of my lip and the inner part. And it's called Cherry. So go ahead and do that. Like if you want to, which is totally fine, it's not like it's super purple, but um, the color of my eyes is kind of like a black purple, and it goes fine with the red lips, but they are kind of bright, and I didn't want to do too bright and too dark um, to kind of cool it down. What I learned from somebody on YouTube is to take a dark brown or a medium darkish brown like this color and uh, align the lips again on top of the red, and then you're kind of blend it down. So you get like a nice deep red. And at first it looks kind of freaky, but so just go ahead and line the lips with your dark brown. Oh, by the way, this color is uh, maple, and I think it's actually oh yeah, it's a lip kind of It's called Maple by Truco. And so we should get closer. Maroon and then red. Okay, so then you're gonna go ahead and start blending it in. So now you're going to go ahead and take a lip brush, if you have one, and start blending it inwards a little bit, but not too much because you don't want it to be more of a dark, dark, dark red. You just want it to be a little bit of a deeper red. So go ahead and start blending that. So just continue blending. Make sure you don't put too much of the brown because it'll look brown and you don't want it to look brown. So I did put a little bit too much brown to show the top part. So what I'm going to do to fix that is take my cherry again and reapply um, a little bit, you know, on top of that brown again. Because I don't want it to be like too dark, dark, dark. So. And then blend it again. dramatic look. I really, really like my more dramatic look better than my lighter one. Um, lighter ones, the subtle ones, I know it's nice, but I always like having more dramatic stuff. Plus, I love red lips. So, this tip that I got from um, this other um, subscription, it was amazing. I love it. It's, it's a technique that I have to get used to because it's hard to blend the brown with the red sometimes. Like, it's still kind of browny and I really like to blend it more. I just have to have the, high, the, I have to have the proper brush. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day, and I hope you guys can use these um, tips and tutorial as much as you can, or whatever, I don't know what I'm trying to say. 
I hope that this video was useful for you basically for Valentine's Day or for whenever. So let me know if you guys have any comments or suggestions or advice. Leave a comment down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Stay tuned for my next weight loss journey video which will be sometime next week. I'll leave you an update if you're interested if you can follow me there. And yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Bye guys.